So the state of John Boehner, also the state of William H uh, Howard Taft and Jeffrey Dahmer, and um, eventually became the uh, home of William Henry Harrison, Ohio. They killed a shitload of Shawnee. They're the ones that killed uh, Tecumseh's father, uh, along with a whole shitload of Shawnee. Tecumseh was born March 1768 at the Shawnee village, Pequa. Pequa, Ohio, is a Shawnee village. Okay, Ohio. On Mad River, about six miles southwest of present-day Springfield, Ohio. His father was a Shawnee warrior named Puckashinwa. Puckashinwa was from a Skipakithiki. Puckashinwa was a Kentucky Shawnee. And Ohio killed Puckashinwa. So Puckashinwa's hex is on Ohio. Puckashinwa. So Puckashinwa means I alight from flying or one who drops down. Puckashinwa's first wife had been a Creek Indian. But Tecumseh's mother was a Shawnee woman from among the creeks called Methotaski. Uh, Her name signified turtle laying eggs in the sand. Pukashinwa and Methotaski's first child, son named Cheese Cow. <laughs> Tecumseh was one of the triplets. The prophet was born. Cornstalk's example. This is from American Indian Warrior Chiefs by Jason Hook. Though the Royal Proclamation of 1763 had prohibited white settlement west of the Appalachians, uh, the Iroquois ceded Kentucky to settlers in the year of Tecumseh's birth. Virginia's colonial governor, Earl of Den Dunmar, granted Shawnee land to veterans of the French and Indian Wars. 1774 frontiersmen brutally murdered 13 Shawnee and Mingo, displaced Iroquois tribesmen, in a series of unprovoked attacks. So, the Shawnee War, the Battle of Dunmore, Dunmar's War, uh, was uh, actually started by the fucking Frenchmen. They're the ones that, or the frontiersmen, they're the ones that actually killed. You know, the Shawnee, the victim's relatives formed a war party which killed an equivalent number of settlers. Those Shawnee, unable to secure allies, refrained from formally going to war. This attack, though, precipitated Lord Dunmar's war. Militia of 1,500 men marched from Virginia and destroyed a Shawnee town in the Muskingum Valley. The Shawnee appealed to the Iroquois League for help, but only the Seneca Chief Logan rallied to their cause, while Dunmar... Dunmore led another force from Fort Pitt, Pittsburgh. Andrew Lewis led a column through the Kanawha Valley. In the attempt to defend the Skiota Valley, the Shawnee, led by Chief Cornstalk, made a surprise dawn attack on Lewis's force in Point Pleasant, October 6, 1774. The battle raged through the day, and Virginians lost 50 dead, 100 wounded, before the Shawnee succumbed. Tecumseh's father, Puck. Puckashinwa, an eldest brother, and Cheese Cow, fought courageously and survived the Battle of Point Pleasant. In November, Cornstalk met Lord Dunmar at Chillicothe, signed a peace treaty, recognized the Ohio River. Uh, Tecumseh was adopted by Blackfish, leading chief of the main Shawnee settlement. Chillicothe, having seen the white men cut down his father and Cornstalk, Tecumseh traveled between the Chillicothe and Pequa settlements. Learning the lore of his people. So Xenia, Pequa, Chillicothe, where was Tecumseh born? Somewhere in Ohio. Tecumseh was adopted by Blackfish. So he was adopted into the Shawnee, right? His father. Puckashinwa. Shawnee warrior. Puckashinwa. He was from Kentucky, from a Skipakithiki. The legendary frontiersman Daniel Boone had been captured with 26 other whites when Blackfish attacked Kentucky settlements in 1778. He was in prison but later escaped. Also in 1780, a large number of Shawnee warriors joined loyalist colonial, colonial Colonel William Burns, thousand-strong Indian army destroying the Kentucky settlements of Ruddles and Martin Station. 
inflicting the heavy defeat over Kentucky militia. So, Pukashinwa thought Pukashinwa was going to die somewhere, but he didn't. Pukashinwa. Pukashinwa is uh, Tecumseh's daddy, and he came out of Kentucky. Here they talk about the split of the Iroquois, 1780. A lot of them moved to southeastern Missouri, although the Shawnee had disbanded many times, both the recent and ancient past, this split in 1780 uh, was unique in both its size and the type of disagreement that provoked it. The Shawnees who left approximately 4,000 people believed that retreating before the white settlers was the only means of ensuring their survival, while those who stayed less than 3,000 people, including a mere 850 warriors, were equally certain that losing their territory to the whites would be worse than death. So it was a big uh, split with the Shawnee. Blue Jacket and Blackfish was at the kidnapping of Daniel Boone. Says that he was taken prisoner by Blue Jacket, and then he was adopted uh, by Blackfish, Cornstalk's successor. Chiungala, Blackfish was also known as Chiungala. So Chiungala. In addition, the Shawnees wished to be reimbursed for their Kentucky hunting grounds, but they knew that uh, the Iroquois League knew that George Washington would never accept that. George Washington's Indian War since old, old cherry tree, old lie, lie about the cherry tree, motherfucker. <laughs> since that piece of shit was uh, not a good guy. So I wanted to take out Puckashinwa. Pukashinwa, Tecumseh's daddy, right? So, waiting for Google.com. That's where Pukashinwa is. I mean, how many Pukashinwas can there be? Pukashinwa, chief of the Shawnee. As Pukashinwa stared at the sky on this night, he saw a huge meteor, meteor streak across the north, leaving a trail of greenish-white flame. It lasted for fully 20-something. It says Pukashinwa. Pukashinwa. It says, he born, it says uh, around 1727 he died in 1774. Says he was killed at the Battle of Point Pleasant. I thought they said that he survived. I mean, why would they mention it, right? Unless he had died. He said fought cour courageously and survived the Battle of Point Pleasant. Well, I don't know what happened to Shinwa. They're saying he had died. Tecumseh's father is Puck Shinwa, minor Shawnee, Shawnee war chief of the Kispoka, the dancing tail of the Panther Band, the Panther Clan. So he came from the Panthers. Tecumseh was from the Panthers. His daddy was Puck Shinwa of the Panther Clan of the Shawnee. Uh, Puck Shinwa's father was Mus Muskogee. Creek Indian, and his uh, mother was Shawnee. So he was Shawnee. His mother was Shawnee. So, Pukshinwa, I don't know where Puk, I thought Pukshinwa was killed. It says 1774 again. But that book says that he survived Battle Point Pleasant, so, you know, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Who do you believe? I'm going to keep on searching next thing. Puck Shinwa. How much time I got? Ten minutes I got. Five minutes. Puck Shinwa.
Bro to come so you're next to function. Tecumseh, also known as the shooting star, the panther across the sky. That's what uh, Tecumseh's name means. Man, I got pissed. So if I don't find it in like next 10 seconds, I guess I'll spare. Tecumseh, his brother, the prophet, Puck Shinwa, lights from flying, something that drops, I light from flying. He was a ethnicity, Creek father, Shawnee mother. Pukshima was most likely born about 1720. Raised in Creek country. His father was Creek. His mother was Shawnee. From McKinney and Hall, Volume 3. From his mother's lineage, he was of the Kishpoka division. Brought up in the village among his mother's people. Because his father died, or his father died while he was young. Puck Shinwa married a Shawnee woman, so Tecumseh's mom was a Shawnee, probably a member of Chartier's band who went to Creek Country, 1748. And that's it. Puck Shinwa. Puck Shin was considered a Shawnee. Tecumseh's mother was Meth Methotaski and Shawnee. Methotaski means one who lays eggs in the sand or a turtle laying eggs in the sand. Puck Shin was second wife. She's believed to have been Shawnee through her mother, her father and her mother, possibly in the Pewaukee band. band. All right. Fuck, I don't know where Puck Shinwa died. I thought he died in Ohio. I was going to put it on you, Ohio, but I'll do that some other day. So...